Ellie, if old Duke sits there with you, there ain't gonna be room for Granny. Oh, that's all right, Paul. Granny ain't gone. <laughs> Who says she ain't? She says she ain't. That's right, Uncle Jed. She's just sitting on the back porch in her rocker, and she says that's as close to California as you're gonna get her. <laughs> we'll see about that. Dang if I ain't got me the muliest women for <laughs> We ain't never gonna get there. Now, what's all this nonsense about you ain't going to California? Ain't no nonsense to it. If the good Lord had a wanted me in California, he'd have put me in California. Maybe he's just getting around to it. The book says he moves in mysterious ways. Well, if he moves me, I'll go. But you and Big Jethro ain't a budging me. Granny, this here Beverly Hills sounds like the kind of place you'd like. That Britcher fella says they got smogs out there. What's a smog? Well, me and Jethro figured out that's a small hog. <laughs> and you heard what Pearl said. It, it ain't got no snow on. Fella has bought us a house in them Beverly Hills. He's in our 25 million to think out there. Well, you just chase on out after it. I'm staying right here. And I ain't afeard, neither. Granny, I ain't leaving you here alone. And I ain't a budging out of this rocker. Jethro, what does that sign say? It says, Beverly Hills. You said that, Granny? We're dying. They call them hills? Why, we got moles that can push up higher ridges than that. Well, leastways, these hills will be among our kind of folks. <laughs> deposit of $25 million to the account of J.D. Clampett. J.D.? As in Rockefeller. <laughs> Elevates us to third position in capital assets and assures our bank of... Come in. Oh, I'm sorry to interrupt, Mr. Drysdale. All right, Taylor. Well, are we all set to give the Clampets a red carpet reception? Well, I'm afraid Mrs. Drysdale still isn't too happy, sir. Yes, I know. Oh, my wife is very upset that I got the estate next to ours for the Clampets. Says I don't even know what kind of people they are. Do you? <laughs> I know to the dollar what kind of people they are. They're my kind of people. Loaded. <laughs> Taylor? Have the gardeners got the grounds in order? Uh, yes, sir. But I'm afraid that's another thing your wife is upset about. Oh? Well, you see, your gardeners have been working on their lawn all week. Why, they've mowed it, trimmed it, fed it, clipped it. I don't care if they lather it and shave it. <laughs> this is the most beautiful mansion in Beverly Hills. I want every square inch of ground within those walls in apple pie... Oh... Yes? Oh, hello, Margaret. No, dear, I'm very bit... Well, good heavens, did you call the police? I'll be right there. What happened? The Clampett estate is being invaded by a band of outlaws. Invaded? Yes, they're holding the gardeners at gunpoint. <laughs> sure is lucky we come along we did. That's the truth. The way they were slipping through that gate, another five minutes and that whole darn prison would have been empty. <laughs> Jethro, you sure that's a prison? <laughs> yeah, Uncle Jed, I seen pictures. <laughs> Only thing is, how come there ain't no guards on them walls? Well, probably done them in with them knives and things. These killers, if I ever did see any, fine neighborhood we's moving into. <laughs> you hear that? Hot digging, there's bobcats in these hills. <laughs> I'm sorry. Somebody's called the law. I reckon he's going to be mighty grateful for what we've done. <laughs> Folks out here has got a strange way of showing his grateful. You've locked up one of the richest men in the country. Mr. Clavett, I don't know how to apologize. I am deeply humiliated. 
What if you cutthroat's done with J.D. Clampett? I'm Jed Clampett, and I'd appreciate it if you let go of my Sunday shirt. <laughs> You're J.D. Clampett, the oil millionaire? Yep. This here's my nephew, Jethro. Howdy. Quickly, man, unlock this cell. <laughs> Mr. Clampett, on behalf of the entire city of Beverly Hills, I extend our deep and humble apologies for this unfortunate and embarrassing incident. Oh, I'm Milburn Drysdale, president of the Commerce Bank of Beverly Hills. My car is waiting to take you and your family to your new home. We want you to know how happy we are to have you, your handsome nephew, your lovely daughter, and your beautiful money, mother. <laughs> Drysdale, you tricked us. You just took us out of jail so you could bring us back up here to prison. Head for the hills, everybody! <laughs> no, wait! Come back! It's not a prison, it's your home! <laughs> now, wait! Mr. Kravitz, listen to me! Wait! Come back! 